Yo, how's it going, guys? It's your boy James here, and today we're going to do something a little different today. While many of y'all are already familiar with Minecraft, there are new players all the time. You can thank PewDiePie for raising public interest. And even for experienced players, it can be a complex game sometimes. Over the years, I've become quite good at it. So today, I'm going to show y'all how to play Minecraft. And how to not let that happen. Alright, so you downloaded Minecraft. That's pretty cool. So, we're going to play a single player, create a new world, and we're going to give it a name. Now, you can name yours whatever you like, but I'm going to call this one How to Play Minecraft. This, that's what I'm going to show you what to do today. Now, let's give it a seat. You can write stuff here, and then it will generate into a code, which will determine how your world will be designed. So now that that's taken care of, let's create the new world. And... Brilliant! Welcome to your first Minecraft world. So, if you look under options, you can see that there is a peaceful saying y'all can use. But we need some exposure to all of the things that can happen in this game. So let's get said nice and easy. Now that this is on easy, we go... Whoopsie daisy. Shut up, said James. It's not funny. Now, the foundation of every successful Minecraft world is getting wood. So let's cut down this tree right here with our apparently really strong fist. Knock down the tree. Don't be afraid. Okay, don't worry about that. Let's just collect wood so we can make a crafting table. That's not supposed to happen. Now that we eat enough wood, you go and press E for inventory. Transform these wood into planks. Then you take the planks, make them into a square like this, and you'll get a crafting table. Unlike the provide crafting space in your inventory, which is two by two, the crafting table has a three by three space in which you can create many different things. The next things I recommend y'all make are the wooden pickaxe and the wooden sword. You will use the sword to defend yourself and to attack. Right now, y'all need wool, so you're going to find some ship. And once you find the ship, left click on the wooden sword to kill these poor innocent friendly ship. I'm sorry, ship, y'all. I need your wool to make a bed so you're all going to need to die, die, die. Now we're going, oh, yeah. going back to the crafting table and take our three wool and arrange it like this. And we take the planks and place them under the wool like this. And that will create a... Where's the bed? Is the computer lagging? No? Hold on. You missed your cue. Why are you late? The bed was supposed to be on screen. The viewers are waiting. Wait. Wool has to be in consistent color starting in 1.12? Oh. We need a sacrifice. The reason why beds are useful in this game, besides, of course, 
It will also reset the nitrate. Okay, editing team, very funny. It will also reset your spawn point. And what that means is that if you did, you will respawn right next to it. So you won't have to walk all the way from your original spawn. Plus, y'all can skip through the night. So if you don't like to be in situations like this one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Then try using the bed. This sounds like an advertisement, not a funny tutorial. Shut up. I like it. No, it's not funny. Are you stupid? You know what? You're nothing but a f Oh, that does it. You don't speak to Triple J that way. You little f oh, I tell you, you heck, I will oh, your butt dear, dear, like your dear, 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 kids dear, 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 all right, I've made for us a safe place to live in. We can now survive the first night. Notice how I said specifically the first night. Don't get used to it. The nights after that are going to be filled with death, destruction, horror, and terror. We must stand up and fight at any minute we could fall, be shot, raided, or blown to smithereens. But for now, we have all of our necessities in this house I built, and we'll stay in it until... Too early, Michael Bay! I placed the bed and crafting table inside, and we're going to make a chest so we can store all of our valuables inside. And we'll talk about this a little bit later. Now I go and be a sleepy boy. So, daytime is upon us, so we go to the next tip. We need our wooden pickaxe from earlier because we go mining today. Aw, oh, dang it, it broke. No, not lightning rod at Dollywood, the pickaxe. But you're not wrong. Although this shows us something. You saw that the wooden pickaxe is slow. Getting rid of it as soon as you can is a good idea. Three blocks of cobblestone is actually enough. We'll be back before Andy gets home. Here's what y'all should make next. This is amazing, guys. Y'all should see this. If you make the pickaxe recipe that I showed you earlier, except you replace the planks with cobblestone, y'all will get a stone pickaxe. Get the point. Back to the mine. All right, listen up. Many people like to use torches to light up the cavern, but we like to think differently in my style of playing Minecraft. Lighting up the cave is for the weak. It takes all the fun away and all the tension. No monsters spawn, and then you don't get their XP. Well, I am not a pussy. So we go no bring not torches, or we go mine. What the? I died. Triple J is no more. So, I just made a full set of stone tools, and we had things to do with them very soon. But if you look down here, you may have noticed that this bar is a little low right now. That is our hunger bar, as represented by these CHICKEN STRIPS! Actually, are those chicken strips? The flying CHICKEN STRIPS! Was ready to go. To Westport! I think those are more like... 640 chicken wings from KFC. Yeah, they definitely look more like chicken wings, so... I choose the chicken wings! Wait, you're telling me they're drumsticks? Do I come into your house and fact check your speech? But enough fooling around. Let's focus on getting food. And I know exactly where to find it. Nearby, a village exists where we can go and raid.
Um, excuse me, that is my job. I mean, we can go and run naked. This is illegal, you know. I mean, we can do some training, look at the architecture, and then borrow their crops and never give them back. This is Shut illegal, up. you know. All right, here is the village. It is a wonderful village. We need a name for the village. Nice choice of words, people! Tell me in the comments down below. We gonna take some of their crops so we can eat. Wait a minute. What did you see? Don't be funny. Wait a minute. We got mutton from the sheep we just killed. Why didn't I think about that before? Well, let's throw that in the furnace so it can cook. Whoa! Cool story, bruh. <laughs> now that we have a hunger bar full, we go mining again. This time for iron. We need to dig a little deeper for this. Quite literally.